It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll play host to a battle between conferences. Hope you're all ready for this one next on Madden Football. Now from the home of the 49 Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, this is EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. Great to have you with us in this primetime battle. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson with you. Under the lights, we'll be putting in the spotlight the running backs. These are two teams, Greg, with bats who can tote it and carry it and make guys miss. They're going to give us a fun old school game on the ground here tonight. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool, Mike, because, I mean, how many of these games have you and I done where we start out saying, all right, the quarterbacks, the wide receiver, these two electric passing games, that's how these offenses are built. But now we have a little bit of a throwback. And for two teams that unapologetically say, we are going to run our offense through the running back position, we don't see that so often anymore. So for two guys like us that understand and appreciate the legacy and the history of this game, I think it's kind of fun. Set to return is Xavier Gibson. And he is stopped. And five drive will begin there. The Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course, all the buildup in 2023. It lasted all of four snaps, but the man is a legend. A Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football, and while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience... Oh, no, right at the start, he loses the football. So even though they avoided the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. They get 14 out of the screen, and it's a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Motioning one of the tight ends. Here's Hall. That's a short pickup to about the 47. Linebacker Fred Warner brings him down. Come up on a second down and eight. In the shotgun, it's A-Rod. He'll find Hall out of the backfield. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Third and five. From the gun, Rodgers. That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. They get 12 yards on that pass. Good for a Jets first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that, be a bit of a letdown. 
Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and three to go. Give up the middle with Hall. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. So they come to the line for first down and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That is pulled in at the five. And he's into the end zone. Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, Jets. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Greg Zerline now for the point after. The kick is good. And the Jets will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here come the 49ers, and they are led by Brock Purdy. You know the story taken last in the 2022 draft. The last two seasons, he has led the Niners deep in the playoffs. And it's his third season, Greg, as the QB for San Francisco. I always love going down to the field in pregame, Mike, and just seeing how certain guys approach their pregame warm-ups and their routine leading up the kickoff. And I really liked what I saw out of him. He had a really interesting level of focus. He had all of his wide receivers around. He was getting them all involved, throwing the ball, getting on the same page, timing, rhythm in the passing game. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. As this offense continues to try to find its way out of this hole, things are going to just continue to get more difficult if they can't protect the passer. The longer you trail, the more the defense knows you need to throw the ball, and they're going to have to protect their quarterback a lot better than they did there. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, it's Purdy. That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Big hit with Purdy to Samuel. It's a gain of 34. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Purdy. 
Going right back to Samuel. He's got it again. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. To throw once more, it's Purdy. And he's in. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, San Francisco. The quarterback, with all of his eligible receivers available, uses the back out of the backfield that time, Greg, to take it to the end zone. And when your running back, Mike, is a valid threat in the passing game, man, it just gives you so many options. And in this case, it was the running back that was the open target. He's able to put the pass on the money. Easy six points. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the 49ers come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Davis now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Jets offense ready to see the football for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. Here's Rodgers. Going left side. And it's taken in by Williams. They'll come up here on second down and five. Rodgers now. He'll check this down to the running back. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. 12 yards on that hookup. And the Jets have a first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. A throw left side, gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Rock Yassine. To the 20. The pick six for the score, Greg, that is the 
the one thing this offense did not want to see, and it really is demoralizing to see that happen in that spot. Absolutely, Mike, and that's one of those cases where you just would like to see the quarterback say, all right, I'm going to live to play another day. Don't force that throw. Don't try to make a play that's not there, because not only do you turn the ball over, you give them an easy six. And on the other side, the defense, what a moment. Uplifting for them. Big momentum build. Yeah, and that's the way games are shaped in this league, Mike. I mean, you find yourself able to capitalize on a mistake by an offense. You get yourself an easy touchdown. All of a sudden, your sideline finds themselves completely rejuvenated. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Davis now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So now the Jets offense ready to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. taken down up at the 40-yard line. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Oh, he's going to find his running back downfield. We are through once. The Niners have the early advantage. And we're back in the Bay Area after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. On the give. It and now for a second time, he loses the football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often. And when they do, you got to seize the moment. Gets that one to the veteran Lazar. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a game of seven. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Throwing Rodgers. He finds his tight end Conklin. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three fourth come. 
Rodgers. He's got it inside the five. And the Jets are looking at a first and goal. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time, you better have a short-term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. Two yards from six points. It is first down and goal. They'll run. It's Hall. And he'll go down. Back at the four. Well, it's clear they didn't have a lot of confidence in their ability to generate enough push inside. That's why they decided to attempt this run on the perimeter. But watch the speed and pursuit of this defense to string this ball out. And they're able to take him down for a loss. To throw, it's Rodgers. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. Mike Williams, the one he was looking for. And now, third and goal coming up. Rodgers. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. After that incomplete pass, we have a player shaken up. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. So fourth down and the veteran Greg Zerline on for the Jets. This about as short as you can get. Zerline's kick is good. And the Jets are back within four at 14 to 10. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six. Oh, he's got room past the 30 they finally get him down but he gets all the way up close to the 40 yard line so here's Brock Purdy and this 49ers offense heading back onto the field the lead sits at four so he'll try to Add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Out of the gun. It's Purdy. That's caught by McCaffrey. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Play fake to McCaffrey. Now, Purdy. He'll find his open man. That's Brandon Ayuk. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. What work after the catch. That one picks up 29 yards. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Throwing on first down is Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. 
Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. Purdy going to put it up again. He'll go right and find his running back. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. Second time they've connected on the drive, and this one goes for 17 yards. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one on one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. And this is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take them down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. This one caught at the four. And he will get into the end zone. Jawan Jennings. Touchdown, 49ers. Moody now for the extra point. He's got it. And the 49ers are out to a 21 to 10 lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Davis now to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. It just seems nowadays, Mike, there's so many running backs in the NFL that you can classify as being dual threats. Of course, we see them every week make their impact on the ground. But here in the first half, it's his ability in the passing game and do bulk of his damage as a receiving threat. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's caught over the middle, it's Wilson. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. A first down throw from Rodgers. A throw left side, taken in by Wilson. Two minutes to go here, till halftime. Greg and I back with you from Santa Clara. In a moment, here's second and nine. From the gun, Rogers. Off-balance throw, it's complete. 
These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. On third and one, here's Rodgers. Open man is Lazard. He's got it. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. Big, big gain for the Jets there. 42 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. Rodgers going up top again. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. That one, take it in, middle of the end zone. Mike Williams, touchdown New York. Now Zerline for the extra point. He's got it. And the Jets are back within four. It's 21 to 17. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Now, on the return, he has lost the football. The Niners offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They'll do so with first and ten. So Kittle comes in motion. First and ten. Purdy. And he'll be taken down up around the 32-yard line. The Niners will use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. Here's first and ten. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. On play action, here's Purdy. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Here's Purdy. Right side, pulled in by Samuel. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield.
again in the air for Purdy. The connection made to IU. And they'll take this down inside the 35. That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. So Jake Moody now out for the field goal. This will be a 48-yard attempt. Moody's kick is good. And the Niners can tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. Here comes the return from a yard or two deep. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers in the lead as we send you cross country to the Sunshine State. That's where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report, all yours, Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Niners got a fine performance in the first half from one of their leaders, Brock Purdy. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Now return coming from the seven. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. So now out comes the offense led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, it's Purdy. He'll locate his tight end, George Kittle. And they're gonna work this down inside the 45. Just his first catch. They have held him in check so far, but that one gives him a first down. Well, any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window immediately back in the attack mode, continuing to take the fight to the defense. They're not content, Mike, here just having the lead. They're looking to extend it. A couple more plays like that, they're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly. A first down throw for Purdy. Right back to Kittle. That's another one. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second and a yard. Play action. Here's... Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. Now, obviously,
obviously there's never a good time to fumble the ball it's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security but it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it and at least you can maintain possession they come to the line needing 11 here on third down out of the gun here's Purdy Sammy has it working the middle. That catch puts him over the 100 yard mark here tonight. And it gives the team a first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. Off the play fake. Here's Purdy. Going right back to Samuel. He's got it again. The main goal for these quarterbacks when they're facing zone defense, Mike, is to identify the soft spots quickly. You need your guys to get open and stay open all before that defense has a chance to get home with their rush. They want to tie the coverage in with the rush unit. Like you see here, when you can give good protection and your receivers can get open and find those open spots, you deliver the ball on time. There's a lot of room to operate. He'll find his tight end. Kittle on the right side. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. On the bootleg, it's Purdy. was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. Extra point up and good from Moody. And the 49ers will extend this third quarter lead. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Gibson now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Well, he had such a great first half throwing the football. There's no reason to think Mike coming out here for the start of the third that anything's going to change. He's picked up right where he left off, and the numbers are indicative of just how well he's played. Come up here, first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's to the left side, pulled in by Conklin. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. They'll get 11 there, and that's a quick first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? Here's Rodgers. That 
right side and brought in by Williams. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Shotgun snap, and a give to Hall. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Rogers. Quick slant into the hands of Wilson. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Play action now with Rodgers. He keeps it himself. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. They'll work now on second and fourth. The shotgun, it's Aira. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. And third down coming up. They will run it over center with Hall. And a spirited run there. Somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. to go for it on fourth down. They're going to go, and it's Hall. And he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it, and they stuff him on fourth down. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. First and ten. Out of the gun. It's pretty. That's caught by McCaffrey. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump, and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. So Kittle comes in motion. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. 
And that is incomplete. He was trying to hook up with Debo Samuel that time. And that'll set up fourth down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. First down for Aaron. That's to the rookie from Western Kentucky, Malachi Corley. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And a strong first down run, a pickup of Nog, setting up second and short. now and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say well their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots usually that doesn't go hand in hand so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate and he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. A running back that can be used in the passing game is a handful for these defenses. And you can tell this offense, they're not shy getting this guy the ball. And I think the rest of this game, they're going to continue to see, hey, defense, do you have an answer for this guy? On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's to the right side. He's got poorly. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. To the middle. That's Corley. And he will score. Game on. Malachi Corley. Touchdown, New York. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Extra point try now for Zerla. The kick here is good, so they are back within a possession. That gets it down to an eight-point game. Twenty-four. 
So things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. There's Debo Samuel and the rest of this Niners offense set to take over again. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Shotgun snap to Purdy. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. It's a big play when they needed it the most. That goes for 58. Well, this is the epitome, Mike, of short throw, long run. Everyone talks about the importance of these explosive plays. And, of course, a lot of them come through the passing game, but we don't always have to throw the ball deep downfield for big games. Oftentimes, it's accurate throws on the run in open space that leads to great run after catch, and we're seeing more and more of these wide receivers in the NFL that with the ball in their hands, they turn into running backs. Purdy now, he'll throw on first down. He's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Brandon Ayuk, touchdown, 49ers. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought, maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. first down that one taken in by Corley and will mark him down just shy of the 40 remember he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football here he's got a first down things certainly look a little improbable right now Mike but I wouldn't say impossible I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points good start there early completion but now they've got to get across midfield and go. On oh, a blitz, overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. What I loved about this play, Mike, was the body language of the middle linebacker before the ball was snapped. We see so often they get antsy. They start tipping the blitz, and then the offensive line and the running back is able to pick them up. In this case, it didn't look before the snap like he was going to come. He times it perfectly. Nobody accounted for him, and he records the sack. From the gun, Rodgers. He'll air it out. Deep for Wilson. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him, and will bring up third down. Rough sequence over these last couple plays. First down sack. Second down big play attempt. 
falls incomplete. Now to make matters worse, you've got to operate in third and long on a defense that knows they can just pin their ears back and try to get after the quarterback. He's going to try it here again. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. He's going to dial up another deep ball. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down but this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball, no easy completions, and this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. game away. First down and goal. And they'll run here with McCaffrey. A short game. Down to the seven. Now here's second and goal. Moving the tight end right. Again, it'll be McCaffrey. A second effort, and he is in. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, San Francisco. He had the touchdown catch earlier. This time, he takes it in on the ground. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. On is Moody to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the 49ers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So, following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. Davis now to return it. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. The Jets' offense about ready to take over once more. Things not looking good. But, see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete.
second down. Rodgers. This complete to Corley. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. He's got his man complete to Wilson. A gain of 16 on that pass play. Good for a Jets first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Along the sideline, Williams pulls it in. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pickup of 14 and a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. Able to get loose after the catch for more yardage, That'll be a pickup of 21. Rodgers, RPO, quickly out to Wilson. It's Rodgers. And he's going to be taken down back at the 20-yard line. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. You find yourself down big, it's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll run with McCaffrey to start this drop. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. The drive starts with a carry by McCaffrey. And he'll get about five. Second and 11. McCaffrey 
and he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. They'll come up to third and three. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. They'll try to run for it with McCaffrey. The 49ers out for the punt. And he's on to punt for just the second time in this game. Oh, how about the coverage there? Met and dropped before he can get a return going. The Jets offense getting set to get back to work. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. begins with a run and it's all whoa and some good running there he'll fall forward for about seven now the Jets gonna use the first of their timeouts and they'll get together prior to the second down play Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Working three downfield, it is Williams. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. First and 10 now from the 36. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Out breaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Rodgers. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one dimension. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Rodgers on third and two. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And he's going to have a Jets first down. They find a way to convert on fourth down and pick up 10 yards. Rodgers going up top again. Now a deep ball toward the end zone. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. 
He'll try again here. Second and ten. To the air once more. It's Rodgers. He'll find Hall out of the backfield. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. So the faithful here at Levi's Stadium are rewarded. It's a win for the 49ers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point in the end. A few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That is the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Oates. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.